Jerusalem. The M.A. Baba can was him, they say, they say, and they already be blow some trumpet of revival. I will swing him. A trumpet of revival is about to be blown in that very community. A trumpet of revival. Eba be bo ewo e nyume mo a trumpet of revival bin Eba be bo ewo e bishen him asowi ni mo Na e wade se wana wo shia se wana wo to wa trumpeti Em a omu ni jesu fu biya no Wo mo ma bra bo na ye basa basa bisi basa biya no Bible say the trumpet is there The trumpet is sounded to bring them back To the place of revival Hallelujah The trumpet is sounded to bring them back the place of revival so that hallelujah now we are dealing with perishing and scattering i repeat i say those who were perishing in the land of assyria one and those who are scattered in the land of egypt too so i'm talking about two group of people the first group is the group that are what perishing in the land of assyria the second group is the group that are what scattered in the land of egypt and then Obi Bera won't show me. Your life is perishing. This message is coming for you. Hallelujah. Obi Bera was just scattered in the land of Egypt. God has this message for you. It will come about. It shall be in that day. The great trumpet will be blown. They will come. Who are about to perish in this land of Assyria. And they who are what? Outcast in the land of Egypt and shall worship the Lord in the holy mount of Jerusalem. Those who are perishing, those who are scattered, they will come and worship the Lord after there is a deliverance. Those who are perishing, those who are scattered abroad like sheep without shepherd, they will come and worship their Lord. Listen to me. Whatever is binding you in life, I see the trumpet of revival blowing. God is calling you back to that place of revival. I came to announce somebody that listen to me. Whatever is perishing in your life, the business that is perishing, the marital life that is perishing, the academical life that is perishing, I see a the ministry is perishing. I see, sir, souls are being won today, tomorrow, but you, you don't know what will happen, man of God. But I see a revival today. The members will come to church, they will not see anything. The results that they have to see, they will not see the results. And not see among members, no, I saw any echo. The number of people are not a show in and the sad number, no, a so empty. Now, Mr. Menkacho said, There is gonna be a sound, there is gonna be a trumpet that will be blown, and there will be a serious revival in the church. And can it new man and a dirty or suffering, no, and can it anointing one? Na e ye juma e wa sa funim no nya me se min kan chele ma se sa anoint no e papa the power is coming back whatever the church has lost the ministry has lost focus but i see god bringing back the ministry to the original place restoration is bringing something back to its original state what i'm seeing is say me wu say e wade be restore na safo asafo na na can it do me e daddy e wu what i am seeing is say me wu say e wade be restore asafo ni pim e wade be restore business ni pim i see god reviving that marriage awariye na kwa eku no awariye na ka eku no onya me se me ka chane ma se sa awariye no i see the sound of revival in the marriage e wade be cause with you and your husband to come back again that business now will start here now not out of phobia but all of a sudden you don't know what happened you lost the customers the customers were not coming again i feel out of war you ask yourself what have i done wrong this is not the way i started this business I have invested so much in the business, but the profits now, it doesn't correspond to the capital. I started with the business, but listen to me. This morning, I came with a very powerful message to announce to you, say, whatever that is about to die in your life, no, the revival fire of God will resurrect that thing again. That business now, I see the revival power of God bringing it back to life. 
ministry now. Hey, yeah, guru. Now, Mr. Mission, come to ministry. to say, I see a revival blowing in the ministry. Now, members, now, a jay. Members, now, be sabi, be. A poor na we nya omo e wa dwe mu ha o me ti o mu se i see the revival of god bringing them back to their business hallelujah john chapter 2 verse 1 john chapter 2 verse 1 blow a trumpet in zion and sound an alarm on my holy mountain let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord is coming. Let all the inhabitants of the love of the Lord tremble. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Why? Because the day of the Lord is coming. The day of the Lord is coming. There may be catch you on say, Mommy, there are certain things in your life. Uh, you need to get it back to shape. You need to get it back to shape. And yeah, maybe why it is not corresponding to what God has said about your life. It is time for you to rise up. It is time for you to respond to the trumpet. We are in the days a lot of believers are sleeping. A lot of pastors are sleeping. A lot of apostles are sleeping. Elders are sleeping. Members are sleeping. We are in the day busy. Only to do on on one business. busy for no one business but we have left the kingdom of God we have left the house of God we have left the things of God and we are seeking our own pleasures we are seeking our own gratifications the reason why uh, out of four credits is because uh, one month pay for a human and several days and said I was sorry at every one person on your mission men can't show say a brass say and by one hour the starting business no some people crown one ever crap business no and by one hour the starting hour you know some people crown one and on the best sustaining hour you know mommy whatever that God gave you through prayer it must be sustained by prayer hallelujah whatever God gave you through prayer must be sustained by prayer it's a brass to say Christopher the nanny free of woman the nanny free yari anymore the nanny free sacrifice to say anymore it is time for you to come out of anything that is binding you you used to pray now pompaye now fasting and near mana with me jenye bini but all of the sudden a kwene muka krebi no afedie compromise is setting in afedie excuse the whole door is setting in weaknesses is setting in laziness is setting in everything that ever brought that resource is now embedded to you adiena sa kiss na wapla ye edi nye jumano and then Zacchaeus Krona is burden to you. You know why? Because you are dying. But listen to me. This morning I came with a message. Say, Onyame pese or reviving in my beam. Ma 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 ma. Hey, anointing now net dash of musono. Okay, asa anointing now net dash no. Anointing now the starting ministry no. And then you are not seeing that same intensity or the decree of the anointing again. Why? Because you have left your first love. And near man and Ojana and my Ewatia Basa Bauso Kesiano, man of God, you have you have neglected that sacrifices. You are not paying those price again. That is why the power of God and the anointing of God is no more on your life. But listen to me, I came with a message, and let's all be returning to your first love. Now obey your encan in Numanoa, and what did it do me? Baby, beam that Mosrana Wahreno. I see God bringing the Mosra back. I see God bringing the marriage back. And yeah, man, as a period now sustaining, you know, and Bible now born fasting now, you know, and they give you crowd to me, you be or if you say, and you give you no name, my dream, you but and then when you're a dream, what's me giving him with this with a very short time, you can lose the job and you will not know why you have lost the job. Why don't you ask yourself, say, brother, a dream, yeah, me, yeah, you want to be a crime, me, yeah, but a year, then I fed you, but Lucy, a dream, listen, because the sacrifices you paid. 
sacrifice is now pay ema unya sa adwuma ne kwan no you are not paying that sacrifice again because you have the job ya won ko fo mu ha e wa di pie kwan mo mutu kwan o mutu kwan no o mu kodura kwan tu mu no o ma gai o munya ko pon so they don't pray anymore because they don't have time to pray eti anya ma na na ka awrade e ye enhira de ma ne kra e de ma awrade nso ka ho no sa de na abey bo so e de ma no eti won ti mi kwa so bi bi san sa adwuma bi e twen no won ti mi mo ba ye bi me san so kra no ko ko adwuma se nya bi pie ko adwuma wa sa sacrifice na o pay e ni nya sa ade no misra that is the same sacrifice that will keep you in that thing i don't ever so stay in that for thing hallelujah it's an opay what that sorry the bible says in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 14 or say for this reason it says awake sleeper and rise from the dead and Christ will shine on you i repeat awake sleeper arise from the dead and Christ will shine on you i came with a message to tell somebody say awake you sleeper awake you sleeper Christ want to bring you life Christ want to restore your marital life Christ wants to restore your business life awake you sleeper away from the slumber away from the laziness away from the procrastination away from that kind of tiredness awake from that kind of timidity away from the laziness away from the complacency away from the compromise it is time for you to wake up from your slumber it is time for you to wake up from your slumber because what god is taking you to know as a soul we are revived to be there as a soul would be sustaining something something powerful in order for you to get there i wake you sleeper rise from the dead so the fire will fall more there were a christ of four acts as if four were And pray to God. Say what I mean. I'm saying my woo, our home home. I mean I'm saying my mom pay you be a little bit of my woo. But I want to come back to life. So Father, touch me. Father, touch me. I want you to pray. Father, touch me. Father, touch me. What you need, Radini Komosa. Father, touch me. I want to come back to life. Encanino. Nanka was run a woman sooner, and I was selling the hope him. I didn't see a son send him a dainty. Everybody, a afraid yet. Me, Nani Pimo, it's a rather climbing, and was son a damn so. See, can they want more? And then they see, can they be why? Because I was sleeping, but right now, I want to come back to life. Right now, I want to wake up from the slumber. Father, Lord, revive my prayer life, revive my fasting life, revive my word life. Oh, for that, some are now older. Can't you see that you are sleeping in the realm? of the spirit some of you you are sleeping on the prophecy the man of god gave to you you are sleeping on that very word that can change your life instead of you investing in that prophetic word you are sleeping over it you are sleeping over your destiny you are sleeping over your miracle some of us we are sleeping over our breakthroughs there are certain things Young Cassama Hokai, Emma Brown Samuel Yamu, as say in the pa. Who if you or Bana were done the Basukuno, and where be natural Christo for any day? A Nipa Bebre, I did that on what destiny so, a kuno. A Nipa Bebre, I did that on what miracle so, a kuno. Or be done a miracle, so say, see, I make a say, but who's all done so? Or Bana were done a banus, not only so done a so. Nanka will himself done a swap of a sovereignty. A Nima Bebre, I won't pay a say, but by a mano. One castle of Quattro, one castle of procrastination, one castle of excuses, and I'm not sad yet. It would be more brabo. What does some miracle? So, because you are not praying, what are breakthroughs? So, because you are not fasting. Hallelujah. 
when you time it can carry the same how can god bless you that way how can god transform you that way but listen to me and there's some of when you are praying with that the home my god now so the bomb by you be oh best that's your question with bima oh be a guy i'm sorry to fear Listen to me. God cannot be mocked. Listen, God is a principal God. I came to sound an alarm. So listen to me. You are getting to a place me who said a Christophobia bread. But listen, and notina, yen ya a software a true for diphobia. One kind of chronic child, but obebu a jusika. They cannot tell you to pray. They cannot tell you to fast. They cannot tell you to do something that will bring the resource. All they can tell you is to sow a seed so that they can receive their money and they give you whatever they want. Listen to me. Eh? Eh? Se wa mo ni ambra, ye be bo fa so. Wa mo wo ni ambra, me say, e wi ni mo no, ye be bo fa so, ye be bo ko fo be pre. Because wa wa kwa tro ti no. Miracle ni ti mi ma ye. O dia kweshe bibi, o so ya wada, ahoma ti mo fe fo bo mpa ye no. O da ho, e mi mi afon so. God doesn't bless that people. A bra ko fo aye si fo wi e ya, ya ko atwa ma sa ko bo mpa ye no. O da fie, e na wo she YouTube videos, wo she TikTok videos. How can God bless you that way? God cannot be mocked. Listen to me. You need to be very serious in the kingdom of God in order to receive certain things. Some of us, our inactivity and then the resource of our disappointment, the resource of the closing doors, the resource of all this stagnation in our life, the demons themselves, they don't have anything to do with your failure. One can sell inactivity. Listen to me. Why Because there are certain things you can only find it in the presence of God. So one cross or now to the Now say and then be and means you. Now one cross or a crack Hallelujah. Wake up and strengthen the things that remain. Revelation chapter 3, verse what? Verse 2. I see, wake up and strengthen the things that remain, which were about to die. The things that are about to die in your life, wake up and strengthen it. The business that is about to die, wake up and strengthen it. The marriage that is about to die. Wake up and strengthen it. The academic that is about to die. Wake up and strengthen it. The traveling door that is about to close and die. Wake up and strengthen it. The business, the company that is about to die. Wake up and strengthen it. Listen to me. And then pray. So we wake up and strengthen one. And wake up and strengthen what remains. Wake up and strengthen what remains. It is time for you to wake up from your slumber and strengthen those things that are that are remaining in your life and ye mana aka e wa bra bo mu no ma me sori waka sori waka and yes sir e be wu sori wa wu nim say ah wa wu nim say wa wu nim say business are start here and yes say that here but all of the sudden and ye me come from and you are there what you hold and found ho na go pon say wake up sorry sorry na send it ni and yes sir ma me a pack of canipa baku cramp and Mahomet Tuetiani. Nipa baku custom a baku cramp, my whoopie. It is so in a shenetine. Mammy, so in a shenetine, what's he? A Jumano so in a shenetine. So you are who no, that is our bomb pie. Ay, 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 Proverbs chapter 6 verse 9 How long will you lie down all slacked? When will you rise from your sleep? When will you rise from your sleep? When will you rise from your sleep? The pain now be sorry every sa and anymore. Mammy, a white be so say the pain now be sorry at your free and anymore and no pain. So open sorry at your few one anymore. A ready any money at the sun ever would feel her and no pain. So open 
shall be beam. No one starts up on piney beam, my mammy. Business will end up him, and tomorrow end up him, and then obey. Person and Yakopo, a beside the money say, How long will you sleep? And Prato does say no better. What the Navi Prima is sorry? What the show? It is sorry. Oh, sluggard. When will you arise out of your sleep? Now, the pain I was sorry if you wouldn't anymore. It's what that would doubt destiny no so. What that would doubt miracle no so. It's who who's out with a miracle no so. On your go upon a bizarre set. Mama, sorry. Every Saturday no so. Saturday now that's no. And only will break through no. Saturday now that's no. And only miracle no. Mommy, and what the cassette should be on a person. Sorry. Every aquatic animal. Sorry, every listless animal. Sorry, I'm not so sorry. Hallelujah. God likes to see the fire on the altar, but it is the priest that will keep it burning. There will be no fire on the altar without the priest burning something. Listen to me. Bible says he has made us kings and priests. Every believer is a priest in the realms of the spirit. So what you have to be doing is to make sure there is food every morning. What kind of Bible? No? Leviticus chapter 6 verse 12. What say? Leviticus chapter 6 verse 12. What say? And the fire on the altar shall be kept burning on it. The fire shall be kept burning. God is speaking. It shall not be put out and the priest shall burn wood on it every morning. Make sure the fire doesn't go down. Shana ejana enu fa eja enu ya kahu ano pebiara. Shana beya ejana beko swaso. Make sure the fire doesn't die out. Add wood to it every morning. Make sure the fire is still burning. Woman of God, make sure the fire is still burning. Man of God, make sure the fire is still burning. Deacon, make sure the fire is still burning. Apostle, make sure the fire is still burning. Prophet, make sure the fire is still burning. Pastor, make sure the fire is still burning. Add wood to it every morning because that is your strength. The altar where the fire is burning is your strength. It gives you the ability to try over certain things around your life today add wood every morning to your business add wood every morning the fire in your business must get burning the fire in your house must keep burning the fire in the company must keep burning the fire in your marriage must keep burning. As I say, a channel cost so. As I say, a channel cost so dare. Mama, is one share in a channel two more. Mama, a cow be poor business no hono. One pen. Hallelujah. One pen. Bible say pray that you don't fall into temptation. The reason why any time when the temptation shows up in your life, you fall into it is because you are not praying enough. Because prayer gives you the ability to drive over every temptation that comes into your life. Listen to me. Bible says pray that you don't fall into temptation. Your advantage is in prayer. If you want to drive over every temptation that comes before you in this life, you must be a prayerful person. The reason why ten piano and social neighbor and what is Ten piano and social neighbor and what is Yashimo. Whom is our dentist and Pibona woman in trial? Oh, homo emre. It is a temptation, neighbor, a foul no more. But listen to me this morning. I want you to gather yourself again. I want you to rise up again. I want you to come out of that sleepless, sleepless life. Come out of that evil thing that you are doing. Oh, addiction, your woman, addiction, the idea, be a warrior and cook community and rather to me a friend is so. A radin was a friend, so and never be a war yoke woman, if a be who yen a man anointing or a giant friend of Braboso, or be Jemmy Cecia, and never be a war yellow, and not in a patron in Madano, Miracubia, a Sebano, a Beba Mame, it must come in a place of consecration and a place of purity. The reason why ya, Unyan Miracle, it sounds like what do you need Pedrano Benjamin? What do you need Pedrano Mamma? What do you want, Mamma? Papa. Spiritual life, a dear be a training down in the realms of the spirit, a dear be a mawaya so very lazy to pray and not pray a bread of so. Say, as I will lay that thing on the fire, my eternal sinner, and return back to your place because when the fire comes down, 
every sacrifice must be consumed into ashes. It's an opay for God a word anymore. A word a Jamaya me pui. Enu ne isi me pa isi me mera kono hongkwai. Isi ma ma wono hongkwai. Enu a ne isi me pray through no hongkwai. A word me decide Jamaya eba anymore. A word kill it. Let your fire fall on it and consume it into ashes. A word me sira o adeshiya. Enu a na ma me hu ni moyam. A word me ni pa ni pa ni ne si tuja. Enu si na ma me hu ni moyam. You come out, you come out revived, you come out changed, you come out as a pure gold, refined gold, the refined version of you. Hallelujah. Revival is about adjustment. Revival has nothing to do with emotions, it has to do with inside work. And your inside within experience revival has nothing to do with emotions you can go to a particular place where motivational messages are shared to massage your ego to massage your emotions but when it comes to do with revival it has to be something a year a year within you must be changed inside you must be changed inside or be quite sure we command in such a me foul and then if it's in a queen there was no change in the inside revival must be a change it must start from the inside not a reflecting from the outside it is a well who's what it means that there is no revival in your life yet revival no AC yet so you must be able to call on God say what I'm saying if it's in Neko, I can't open any in a and I can't open any a corner upon any no and man I saw as I said me die a corner upon any to feed me die to them me die to groom her and what I miss now casa a brasso somebody is asking me say how can you be revived the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with ways like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Those who wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. My God, the Bible is saying, "Say when I will train a white animal, when I want them for floor, mommy, and I no pay. So I will train white animal. There is gonna be a new fire on your life, Papa. Say any day, so I will train white animal. Your strength will be renewed. That strength na ayira, and on strength na ayira no. When you miss me, can't change the masse. If you wait in his presence again, the fire will begin to what, work in your life again. The anointing will work in your life again. But those who hope in the Lord who renew their strength, they shall soar with wings. They will soar on with wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. They will walk and not be faint. They will walk and not be faint. I see somebody walking without fainting. I see somebody rising up and soaring higher in the realm of the spirit. Listen to me. A revival is breaking forth in your family. A revival is breaking forth in the community. I see God, God's power sweeping in the churches. I see God's power sweeping in the communities. I see God's power sweeping in the countries. I see God's power sweeping in nations. God is gathering people and new people for himself men and women that are ready to carry out his fire listen to me the bible says uh, in luke chapter 24 verse 49 uh, the bible says and behold i send the promise of the father upon you uh, but tarry in the city of jerusalem and until you are endured with power from on high listen to me tarry in jerusalem until you are endured with power until you are endured with the anointing this was the very message that Christ gave to his disciples that listen to me before you can go out and witness of me you must wait in Jerusalem until you are endured with power we have a lot of people that are walking to and fro moving from one prophet to the other without the power to witness listen to me God is saying it is time for you to carry in Jerusalem until you are endured with power if you move without being endured with power you will disgrace yourself listen to me the reason why there is a lot of embarrassment a lot of shame on the pulpit today because the pulpit is producing a lot 
of immature Christians, a lot of immature prophets, a lot of immature pastors. I see a lot of immature elders, elders that have not sustained the power of God enough to even stand on the pulpit. I know there are prophets, there are apostles who don't have the power yet to even witness, but they call themselves apostles and prophets. Listen to me. What I came to tell you is that the power of God is only hidden in tarrying. If you don't tarry, you cannot receive power. The reason why power is not on your life. The reason why power is not on the ministry. The reason why power is not in the business is because businessman, you have refused to tarry in the presence of God. You go to church. You don't wait for the man of God to close. You walk out of the auditorium. Listen to me. The presence of God within it carries the power. If you don't wait in the presence of God, there are certain results you can never achieve outside the presence. You go to church. Oh my am Paul. No one's sorry coffee. Listen to me. How will you know your resource is at the end of the service? There are people listening to me right now. You don't can you cannot even stay in the presence of God for 30 minutes. Listen to me. Bible say it works many me and wait for an hour. So you cannot wait with me with with where uh, you cannot wait with, with me in, in, in prayer for an hour. It would mean day. Jesus Christ to the So you couldn't wait with me for an hour. Wow. 24 good hours. Put me for one hour more pay. Christ only. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 3a. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 3a. Do not be in haste to move from his presence. And bring them for the moon kawati. Because a yeni moon in the nenim and a en munyan wo. A yeni mu and in the nim and a fahundi wo. A yeni mu and in the nim and a healing wo. It's the empentum free of the animal. I read the uh, the English version. Ecclesiastes. 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 The verse number. 8 verse 3a do not be hasty to go from his presence the bible is saying that do not be hasty to go away from his presence the bible says again in luke chapter 4 verse 1 then jesus being filled with the holy spirit returned from jordan and was led by the spirit into wilderness hallelujah verse 1 verse 2 verse 14 then jesus returned in the power of the holy spirit to galilee the verse 1 says he returned from the Jordan and was led by the spirit into the wilderness but after spending so many days in the wilderness Jesus came full of power listen to me this is the time for you to enter your secret place and download enough of God you must download the presence of God on your life before you walk out the business you want to start you must study in the presence of God until you are endued with wisdom don't start the business until you are endured with power don't start the ministry a lot of ministers of God have started ministries without the power of God listen to me the disciples never went out until they were they were uh, they were enveloped with the presence of God until they were enveloped with the power of God you never saw them testify you are testifying something you cannot defend it is the power of God that gives you the ability and the capacity to defend what you witness so if you're a man of God you can preach and teach about something about a topic but it is the power of God that will determine whether what you are preaching can be enforced in the life of the hearers. I came to announce to somebody, it is time for a revival. We must return back to prayer. We must return back to fasting. We must return back to giving. We must return back to singing, worship. It is time to rise up again because your light is coming. I want believers to return back to the mountain. Go back to the wilderness, the same place where the power came, the same place where the wisdom rested upon your life. It is time to return to the wilderness. It is time to wake up from the laziness. Procrastination is killing your life. Procrastination is killing your business. Procrastination is killing your decisions. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the business you want to start. You have been procrastinating again and again. The reason why you are not seeing the business physically in your life is because of procrastination. You procrastinate the decisions you have to take. 
decisions in essence they would take you know you are procrastinating and by what necessary say obono they be out to say that and the member by your channel member next week member by your this and next year you are doing yourself. There are certain things that are upon some phone or money moshe. There are certain things that are buying you now or what you honor. He is even innocent of the kind of stupidity that is happening around your life. But I came to announce to somebody say it is time for you to rise up again. It is time for you to pray. The Bible says that in the book of Acts chapter 6, verse 3. Therefore, brethren, seek out from among you seven men of good reputation, full of the Holy Spirit and with wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. You want to be a businessman, you must still be anointed, you must still carry the power of God. Listen to me the power of God is not for only apostles, the fire of God is not for only prophets, the fire of God is not for only pastors, yes. it is for all, including hey. businessmen. Bible say, hey, businessman, you need the anointing of God on your life so yes, that that very business yes. can be sustained. There are a lot of forces contradicting and fighting the the advancement of the mm. business there are a lot a lot of principalities I know, I know. in that very neighborhood fighting the company man of god ceo businessman boss listen to me it is time to carry the business Jesus. on the prayer altar in and pray name. over the business yes, i want somebody yes. to lift up his voice yes. begin to lift up your voice and pray what do i want the echo brother sir i need a revival yes, in my marriage yes, i need a revival yes, in my company yes, i need a revival yes, in my business yes, I want you to lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice. 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 Lift
Hallelujah. A serious move of God yes, happening here in Ghana. Amen. Listen to me. I prophesy to you right from today. Yes. Even though you are scattered, but you are coming back yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Even though a lot of souls are perishing here in Ghana, yes. but what I'm saying is that yes. the power of God yes. to save yes. is visiting people's various houses. Yes. I see salvation. Yes. My God, yes. a lot of people are coming back to the church. Yes. Man of God, the members who lost, I see the power of God yes. bringing them back yes. right to the church again. The elders who lost, I see them coming back. The businessmen that were supporting the ministry that they left you, I see them coming back again. Listen to me. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Those things that are about to die in your life, I see the restoration power of God coming back and restoring them back to life. Hey, man of God, prophesy unto these bones. Can they live again? Yes, I prophesy. Any dry bones, any dead bones in your life is receiving flesh by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let this be according to the words of the prophet. Holy Spirit, take over. Take over. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Take over. My in God. the name of Jesus. My God. Take over. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Take over. Amen. My God. Amen. Yet then you come on as a pa. Me did say why you should pa. Why you should pa 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 pa. Prophet. And then they want me I should pa. Want me I should pa 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 pa. Yes. Our number no no. Chira kwa ndo tuja ma. The number ni zero five four nine sixty sixty thirty. Zero five four nine six zero six zero three zero. We bet me a friend. Miss our number no so. Okay. Nah. Yeah, Yes. But your offer on one little TV now, my enough. What tier food? You meet me no one in Kumawa. Oh, how on the side now? Some man, maybe I will never be. Oh, di for ha. Oh, di for ha. Yes. Zero five five three four one two three one four. Zero five five three four one two three one four. Hello, first caller. Zero five five three four one two three one four. Offer. For the blood, I see. I need. I need. We need Kumosa. You just say you are going to put on your shirt. Bless us up for no beka. Hello, first caller. Hello? 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 A radin funny son can't be a will be a radin when yam yak a cell or so. A radin to me and sign was so a beer will be a dominant. Amen. Amen. Hello, next caller. Okay, zero five five three four one two three one four. For the problems you see, I think most of them are calling on my number. There have been a chop friend number way. Zero five five three four one two three one four. For the problems you see, I'm not so for a mom pie, my wife. And no dear, yeah, we are no friend. Why? Uh huh. Hello, next caller. Hello. What you know? So, what do you know? I'll be a cancer free. Ah, me watch your man. Is my. Okay. 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 Yeah, mammy, I would see ye or then I come a dear cheap. Jesus. A brain in your name, what's here? I could see we ye. My God. More above four and sunny and cover be a host is here. Found Sacano, ya will be a dunner. So Jesus Christ, my to me and rest of my so and sunny, ya will adopt me. Mammy, ye we are from personal number. Me no be dinko. Hello, nice caller. Hello. If I told you, I got a free. But you're from me, then you are shy. Okay, I'm to you. Okay, I'm going to 
Okay. Ero ade me bon pai o Jesus Christ of Nazareth dimo de yebra de isha unsa. A debia e kumaswa debia o dia tu wenim. Oni ni pebi e ni hun komo but oni wo ero ade ni wedi hun komo. Me stress ero ade obeti obey. Mana dance di and sana fiya kode we ye adominiti. Amen. Amen. Hello, next nice caller. Hello, me bato. Bato ni ni wabia kase fru ma me. Okay, if I told you to, oh, how do you say? Oh, I mean, 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 Hello? Hello? What you doing? We are going to free. We are going to free. Okay. What you doing? say. Papa, I'm sure what he. Amen. I'm sure what he. I'm going to pay. Oh Jesus. What you doing? Mama, I will redeem my efforts in order to unhu increase what you make me ho. Amen. I won't be a sorry. I will so a dream of you. You can't want to know too. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ah, Jesus. Mama, you will be doing come be family number. Why? Okay. You may then you may be a teacher. You will be doing come. Okay. But your cell phone number is good. Even as you know why. Zero five four nine 